I'm Brad Levitt, president of AFT Construction. Thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel today. And we're here at our PV Gland project where we'll be discussing outlets and code at the island. Now one thing you'll realize is any island that's at least nine square feet has to have an outlet. And depending on how big the island is, the spacing, right, that'll dictate the code, whether you're working off 2017 or 2020 code regulations, it's really important that you understand that. Um, maybe have a courtesy inspection with your city inspector because it can vary by municipality and what the inspector does want, as well as what's accessible for the client, right? Because as you're looking right now, one of the intricacies of this design is you're thinking about, okay, we have an island that's over 100 square feet in this kitchen. So it's a large countertop and we have to have outlets. We have to have two on the back, two on the front. Well, with the cabinetry design, as you'll see here at the face, you know, there wasn't really a good spot to put the outlet in the cabinetry itself, right? Because these are, um, you can see here we have the trash and underneath the sink. And so the decision was made that we go a little bit thicker on our waterfall and we put the outlet here in the face. We don't want to put it on this sidewall because now, right now we have this unobstructed, beautiful design, right? That gives that overall look of that Taj Mahal, which is a very upgraded marble. So we didn't want to deter from that. So here on the face where you have the common walkway, we could hide that. And then one of the options was we brought in our faux painter that came in and painted the plate and the outlet to match the Taj Mahal. So it only almost um, hides the outlet entirely. So we have two here on the front, which was required by code by the town of Paradise Valley. And then here in the back, again, what's really key, you can see here, we didn't wanna, because this is the main viewpoint for the client and for the guests as you're looking at this beautiful kitchen, the chandelier, the backsplash, Right, you have these beautiful waterfall finish um, edges down here. We didn't want to put it here on the face uh, because we do have room to put it here just underneath. Now, one thing to realize too is you can't reach this all the way back where it's past, you know, two feet um, back behind because this is so the clients can plug in appliances. They have to have access, and so because of that code, we could put it nice and high, tight, paint it, and keep it here where it's not as noticeable. And then when you have the stools in, you can see here, because we're running long ways instead of up and down, it does minimize the look, keeps that overall aesthetic. So now you can meet the code requirement, you can make it look nice and hidden, um, right, for most clients that won't even see that there.